One of the scariest companies in the global Fortune 500, it's Chinese-based, didn't make cars until now. Well, it's just revealed its first electric car. And if you look at how incredible the technology is, it is literally scary. I mean, this car, I think, could have autonomous technology better than Tesla. I can't believe I just said that, but I think it's actually true. Maybe. Now, watching this video, this new Xiaomi electric car is it's truly mind-blowing. Here are the specs, here are the details, and here, here's why I'm I'm maybe a little concerned at just how good it actually is for its for the company's first ever EV. Imagine how good their third, fourth generation will be. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Xiaomi is a Chinese designer and manufacturer of consumer electronics, software, mobile phones, appliances, automobiles, and household hardware. Well, they pretty much do everything now, it seems. They make more electric scooters than anyone else in the world. But now, well, now they make electric cars. Their first electric car is called the SU7. It's got 800 kilometers of range. It'll do zero to 62 miles an hour or zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 2.8 seconds. It's very fast and it's incredibly capable. The Xiaomi SU7 electric sedan has 875 volt architecture. So it's got actually really, really fast charging. It's got a 101 kilowatt hour battery with CATL cells. I believe this is the cheering battery. It gives the vehicle 800 kilometers of range. The all wheel drive version has two motors, 500 kilowatt, so around about 700 horsepower. And it's, yeah, it's insanely fast. It has a top speed of 265 kilometers an hour. Three years ago, Xiaomi said it would be manufacturing an electric car. And well, no one really took them all that seriously. They invested only 1.4 billion, didn't seem to be enough, but well, here's their first EV. And all of a sudden everyone's saying, hang on a minute, this thing is way better than we thought. Maybe it's possibly, maybe it has the best autonomous driving capabilities of any car in the world. Insane to say that considering it's their first car. It comes in two versions. It has a less powerful rear wheel drive version, which has actually only 220 kilowatts, so about 300 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque, much slower, 5.3 seconds from zero to 100. Smaller battery pack and it's cheaper though. It's a 73.6 kilowatt hour battery. Um, it provides 670 kilometers of range under the CLTC Chinese cycle. So probably about 600 kilometers of WLTP range. The performance version has, yeah, like I said, it's got a lot more power. It's got a lot more torque. It's insanely fast. It can do zero to 200 kilometers an hour in only 10 seconds. And it uses CATL's Chirin NC, so nickel, manganese, cobalt battery. This is a battery we all, we all thought could potentially be in new Tesla EVs. It still could. It's not yet though. Battery capacity in that one is 101 kilowatt hours for 800 kilometers of range. Yeah, all this stuff is really, you know, it's great, but it's not as impressive as things like its charging ability. You can recharge it 390 kilometers in only 10 minutes. Um, that's insanely fast. In five minutes, you can add 220 kilometers of range. And in 15 minutes, 510 kilometers. 15 minutes, 510 kilometers of range. So it charges at more than 400 kilowatts. That probably sounds insane, but in China, there's actually quite a few superchargers now that will do those speeds. Now, according to Xiaomi, it has the lowest aerodynamic, the best aerodynamic efficiency of pretty much any sedan ever made. I'm not convinced that's true, but you know, that's what everyone's saying these days about their EVs. The Xiaomi sits on Xiaomi's new Medina EV platform. It's slightly longer than a Porsche Taycan. It's about the same size as a Tesla Model S. The car has a 105 liter frunk and its boot is 517 liters. Now it was actually designed by a former head of design at BMW. So yeah, this is what a BMW designer comes up with. I'm not really a particularly a fan of the look, but the technology, well, it's absolutely incredible. It's got a 16.1 inch central control screen with 3K resolution and a 7.1 inch display for the driver. But it's this is not really all that great. But I mean, there's a lot of cars that have this sort of thing. However, the navigation can be screened on a 56 inch heads up display. Basically covers the entire windscreen. 
The cockpit operation system is operated by Hyper Operating System and it's powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8295 chip, but it's got some interesting other features. Automated driving, or ADAS, which is said to be significantly better than what you see in, say, for example, BOD, possibly even better than what's in Tesla vehicles, is called Xiaomi Pilot. It's powered by two NVIDIA Orin X chips with 508 tops of computing power. Now, it's said that this ADAS will receive input from one LiDAR, three millimeter wave radars, 11 HD cameras, and 12 ultrasonic radars. The autonomous driving system includes highway driving, self-parking features, and car summoning. So you can summon the car to you already, and you can get out of the car, and it will park itself in a multi-level garage. And there's actually a video of it doing that. It just drives up the garage, drives through, finds a parking spot, parks itself. This car is quite incredible. Now, apparently, city driving, autonomous driving, it doesn't do yet. Surprising to hear, but Xiaomi is saying by the end of 2024, you'll be able to use this car autonomously in 100 cities in China. So no hands driving. I obviously don't know if that's true and no one really knows if that's gonna happen, but it's possible, it could. Now here's the part that's a little scary. I mean, this first electric car from Xiaomi apparently is amazingly good, but it's autonomous driving features are clearly um, right up there with the best in the world. But Xiaomi is saying it wants to become a top five car company in the world within the next 15 years. Pricing hasn't been revealed yet, but it's expected to cost around about $42,000 for the cheapest version of this car. Now, a video was seen here. It's been spotted. A lot of people watched it on YouTube of an SU7 parking itself in a multi-level garage. Unlike most EVs from China, the SU7 does not come from an automotive conglomerate like Geely, GAC, Great Wall, BYD, comes from Xiaomi. And its advanced electronics seem capable of letting it summon to you. So you basically get out of the car, it'll drive itself, park itself. And then when you want to get the car, again, when you come out of the, say, the supermarket or whatever, you can press the button on your phone and it'll drive back to you. And it literally does this in a video on YouTube. The video shows the driver of the SU7 pulling up to the entrance of a parking garage before tapping a button on the infotainment screen and then just getting out. The car then proceeds to enter the garage and autonomously drives up different levels. So it drives up a number of levels until it finds a car parking spot. It actually comes close to an Audi A7, but reverses out of the Audi's way and continues on its way to the top level of the parking area where it parks itself. It doesn't seem to be a made up video. It seems very real and it's obviously navigating through other traffic. It's quite incredible the technology we're seeing here from some of these Chinese EV companies. That's what I mean. Is it scary that they can do this much this quickly so far already and they can produce EVs at such a low price? I think it is just a little bit. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.